Um, I'm Sophie Atkinson, AutoSmart's Managing Director. I'm Sarah Moore, AutoSmart's Franchise Manager. Um, at AutoSmart, what we're about, uh, we invent and manufacture really good products for cleaning vehicles. Our franchise owners take those um, products into the marketplace via th a seven and a half ton mobile supermarket. And what our franchisees love is being out and about, meeting their customers. I'm Paul Thompson, founder of Water Babies. Um, we began in 2002. Water Babies is a nought to four baby swimming franchise. Our specialty is under ones. Um, we run a very specialist program for teaching water confidence. Our youngest client was only one day old, so when I say specialist under ones, I mean under ones. Um, and there are three bits to our business, uh, swimming, photography, and selling products. My name's Troy Tappenden. I'm the managing director for Dream Doors. I started Dream Doors 16 years ago in 1999. We do kitchens, but we actually specialise in kitchen makeovers. Hello, my name is Alan Wilkinson. I'm head of franchising for CEX UK, and we buy, sell, and exchange electronics and gaming products. Our potential franchisees come from a variety of backgrounds. Um, Sarah is the person in, in our business who meets them and gets to know them over quite a long period of time. And what really we look for are personal characteristics over experience because we are a franchisor. That means that we are well placed to teach our potential franchisees everything about our product range, their marketplace, selling skills, business organisation and planning. So very much what we focus on are the underpinning qualities of anybody that we meet. And I'm, I'm, What's your comment on that, Sarah? Um, so I think the key things that we look for are um, aptitude, so a capacity to learn new things, um, maturity and judgment, um, planning and organisation, um, and self-motivation as well, a real can-do attitude. What we look for in our franchisees is people who are going to follow a model. It's critical you follow the model, that's the golden rule in franchising. People who are hard-working, absolutely hard-working and driven, People who've got good organisational skills, um, can manage staff, uh, and as I said, people who can follow a model and who are really hard working. That's what I really look for, look, you know, look for in franchise owners and franchisees. When looking for new franchisees, we're looking for uh, a strong work ethic, uh, somebody who's an interest in, in the products that we sell, and hopefully uh, some previous exp experience in the retail sector. Yeah, I think if you put all of our franchisees into a room together, you'd see they're very different, different ages, backgrounds and experience. But I think they all share those key characteristics that I uh, previously mentioned, really. So a real, the real go-getters, um, very self-motivated, um, very driven, um, and they love our marketplace as well. We can pretty well take most people off the street and train them in our system. People often think that they need to come from a swimming background, for example, and actually that's not the case at all. We're after people who've got a certain spirit about them, um, a certain amount of backbone, a certain amount of focus. And so our whole recruitment process is based around that. It's actually trying to find the people who've got the right character to suit our system. Successful franchisees in general uh, tend to have good mentoring skills and energy and a passion for, for the products that we sell. Um, the attributes that we're looking for in a franchisee are actually quite, quite narrow. Um, we, the main thing we're after is character. We want people who've got the right character type that suits our system. Um, you've got to be very tenacious to be in Water Babies. You've got to have somebody who's got lots of get up and go, somebody who can get through adversity, not take no for an answer. Um, and we really, our system really tries to test that. So we're after people who, who have the right character. I think for me, when someone's thinking of a step into business, there's two types of, of people who'd, who'd think about that. People who are entrepreneurial, have a really good idea, want to take that to market. Um, the people like that are rare as hen's teeth in, in my view, because it's very, very difficult to do. The other people who want to um, become business owners who are perfect for franchise are people who don't have the idea, but they have all of the motivation and drive that the entrepreneur also has. So we want someone who has all of the drive, all of the motivation, and follows the system. And then the two together, massive success. And of course, it is a franchise system. So we want people who will follow the franchise model. Um, and as all franchisors know, that can be a challenge. 
Um, so we want people who understand what franchising is about, understand why it's important to, to follow the model, because the business model works, that will give you a successful business. Um, and that again is something else that we look for in people. If anyone's interested in franchising, I think before they go and approach any franchise or potential franchise, or they need to do some basic research. And the start point for that is the BFA. Go to the BFA website, and read what it says, and start to follow those steps. I think one of the things that impresses me is people that have done their research before they come to see us, because it shows that they're serious. Um, and that they're well prepared as well, which planning an organisation is something we look for in a prospective franchisee. Um, and it just means that they're making the most out of that one-to-one -one discovery session, asking pertinent questions. Um, I find that very impressive. And also I also think it's really important that they actually look at a couple of franchises, um, you know, see the market. It's a bit like buying a house. Even if you've got a real focus on one franchise, that tends to be what happens to us. People have a real focus for water babies. But we say, go and have a look at a couple of others. At least understand how some other systems work so you understand as broadly as you can the industry that you're about to come into. Yeah, before potential franchisees contact us, I would absolutely expect them to have done some due diligence and some learning about Dream Doors, uh, to go on to our website, gone on to our franchise website and our consumer website and you know learned a lot about dream doors from our two websites um, learned about the kitchen industry if they googled it online and learned a little bit about the kitchen industry and learned a little bit about the kitchen makeover industry you know because that's you know where we earn our money and if a friend potential franchisee had come to dream doors and they hadn't gone onto our website at all and they hadn't even said anything about the kitchen industry, I would be very, very concerned at that point that this person is not doing their due diligence uh, and it would really worry me if that was their trait before they'd even come to a you know, Dream Doors exploratory discussion day, how are they going to get on in business? I think the basic research we'd expect someone to have done before um, may either making contact with us or coming to see us is really that they've at least looked on our website which it has mm. some videos on as well so that they've got a real picture of what the business is and what's involved so that they can ask pertinent questions and make the most of uh, their, their contact with us and, and really begin uh, their research. Yeah. I think for me what research um, always impresses me is if it's really important that someone's visualised running the business so if when they come to meet us, they mention they've popped into Valeting Bay, they've had a look at who's around, they've talked to users. I interviewed somebody once who'd flagged down a franchisee, just cold, had a long chat. I always think that's a very, very, very good sign. So not just to have researched on the web sitting in their home, but to go out and see what it is our franchisees do and what the customers are like is something I also think is important. Uh, in terms of uh, looking into the model and your, your due diligence before choosing a franchise, we really encourage um, a potential franchisees to talk to the franchise network. They're, they're the guys who are actually operating and owning the same type of business you're interested in and usually best place to give you the, uh, the advice and the, the pointers that you're going to need. I do think it's essential that they understand what a franchise is before they come in and typically people that come and see us have done that element of their research, yes. To, they've already made the decision often that what they want is a franchise and then they're at that stage of then looking at the, the numerous options that are in front of them to decide which franchise is the best match for them. And in our system there are three things primarily they have to do. One is to investigate becoming a swimming teacher, so start the first steps in that process. The second is to investigate swimming pools in the territory they're interested in, to see if they can find a base of swimming pools. But the third and most important bit is actually finding out about franchising and that's where we make them go to the British Franchise Association Seminar Day. We want them to attend that day and they can't complete their questionnaire until they've attended that day. I think it's very important and uh, potential franchisee involve their partner at the beginning because at the end of the day it's their partner or their hus your husband or wife's money as well on the line. I mean Dream Doors is a £75,000, £80,000 investment. So if they were going to be going forward potentially with Dream Doors and they didn't have the backing of their wife or they were putting all their joint income into the business and then borrowing the rest, I mean, you know, if the wife or husband wasn't comfortable with that, there's going to be a serious breakdown in the relationship there or arguing with a husband or wife and then that would impact going forward running a Dream Doors franchise. So it's absolutely critical we have, they have the backing of their partner. Otherwise, we, there would be you know, trouble for Dream Doors and that franchise eager going forward once they're into the brand and running the business. 
So it's critical 